want to talk for a little minute about what was happening in people's minds in the books, in the, in the, in the evidence they gave. You, know, you read these statements by the witnesses, which are strange, biased and everything, but in particular what comes through is dark hints of what was going on in the minds of men in particular, but also women in some ways, about sexuality and the secret sexuality. There were great sections of the witness statements which tell us a lot about what was secret in their mind. They were obsessed with forbidden sexuality. The dark secrets of um, fellatio or oral sex, now we say it nowadays, but in those days it was unspeakable. They must have thought about it, they were terrified of it. And so lots of the accusations come through as blaming these women as being involved in these activities. The women, as I've already pointed out, never actually said themselves what they had done. They just said, yeah, I did that, yeah, I did that. And so lots of transpositions took place. Thomas East Church in particular, who was a non-conformist, his family were fine for non-conformity, his statement of what he'd heard Temperance Lloyd say makes very clear this obsession with the sexuality, also with well, these dark figures. The word black refer, you know, occurs frequently, whether these people were small and black, or whether they were dressed in black, gentlemen dressed in black. And this, it's all very strange, Freudian and disturbing. People, I'm sure, when it was published, got a huge amount of prurient pleasure and satisfaction from reading these accounts. It somehow helped them in their minds to transfer the guilt they felt about these wicked, sinful thoughts, especially as nonconformists. It was transferred to the fault of witches. Witches were the wicked witches, the wicked women who seduced, who led astray, who had a, a deformed sexuality. And you know, there are hints at times that these women may have been involved in some kind of prostitution or sexual behaviour to satisfy these people, but they got the blame. It's what you think about blame, like blaming the beggars for begging, it was their fault, and they called it upon themselves, or blaming these women for our secret sexual frightening ideas in our brains. That's what seems to come through. It's so hard to understand what was going on in their minds 300 and odd years ago, but there's very strong hints.